What's up everybody and welcome back to Techno V, the number one channel for your tech tutorials, news and reviews. My name is Viraj Das and in this tutorial, we are diving right back into the game animation sample and I'll be explaining how to migrate the character so you can use it in your own games. Without further ado, let's dive right in. And here we are right back in the game animation sample. Now if you haven't seen my first video about this, go ahead and check it out. The link's right up there. But for those of you who are willing to just get in right now, let's go. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Blueprints folder and find the CVP character blueprint, Sandbox character. Go ahead and right click, Asset Actions, Migrate. Now these are all the things that Unreal is just going to port over to your other project. That's fine, we'll just leave that as default. And then, make sure to go to your projects directory. So right here I created a totally empty project, motion matching. And here is the root directory. We can go under content and that's where we want to migrate all our assets. So this will take a little bit. We just wait. One eternity later. And now that it's done, we can head on over to our other project and oh, just like magic, everything is right there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into blueprints. I'm going to blueprint class, game mode base, and I'll just call it game mode motion matching. You can call this whatever you want, probably something that's best fit for your game. Then double click in that. And under default pawn class, choose CBP sandbox character. And once that's done, compile, save. Now open up project settings. You can do that by edit project settings or settings, project settings, or if you already have it open like me, just, yeah. And then search game mode, change it from game mode based Ew, we don't want that. We want the new one that we just created called the GM Motion Matching. And so then, when you run the project, you'll realize that oh, it doesn't work. No! What do we do? Actually, the fault is yours, not Unreal, oh, because God. you forgot to include the plugins. Oh yeah. How did I forget? How could, what? How could I forget the plugins? Okay. So we've got this error. We know the solution. Let's just put it in action. Go ahead and cancel that. Close that. We don't need that. We don't like errors anyways. So go ahead. Click on Edit. Oh, uh, plugins. And the first plugin we want is something called Motion Trajectory. Bam. Easy. Then we will get the plugin called Motion Warping. And actually, Animation Warping is the next thing we need. Perfect. Then, speaking of animations, we want the Animation Locomotion Library. Get that. We need Pose Search. I know, there's a lot of plugins, just bear with me, okay? Choosers is the name of the next one we need. Easy. And last, la lastly, we want the deformer, if I can type right, deformer graph. Done. Now, with a quick restart, everything should be working perfectly. Many months later. You know, there's nothing like dwelling on your life choices while you wait for Unreal to boot. But, now that it's open, might as well run it. Now, I do, I personally do not like this map here, so we'll just create a new level. You don't have to. And, ready? There it is! We have our assets successfully migrated and working in a new project. And now we can use these in our own games. 
Now tell me, how easy was that? I mean, don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Now, I really hope you learned something in this tutorial. If you did, like, subscribe, share this video. If you have any questions, any anything really, put them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.